guys! Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build a math tool using items you probably have around your house. Here are the items you'll need to build your tool. A pair of scissors, two clothespins, tape, a paper towel roll, colored pencils or markers or crayons, glue, and some white paper. You could also use binder paper. The first thing I did was I folded my paper so that I had eight strips. We're actually only going to use six of the strips, but you'll have two extra in case you need them. Next, I used my scissors to cut the strips apart. Next, use your colored pencils or your markers or your crayons to mark on the strips of paper as shown. What I recommend doing is pausing the video here so that you can make all the markings that you need to. The next thing you wanna do is take each of your strips of paper and you want to turn it into a circle like this. And you're going to tape them end to end. I come across here and I'll just tuck the little pieces of tape under. So you'll go ahead and do that with each of your strips of paper. Okay, now that I have all my little rings made, I'm gonna slide them onto the paper towel tube. So I'm gonna start with the last one. So my purple one, my blue one, then green, then light green, then orange, and last but not least we have red. So just kind of like that. Next, I'm gonna be using my hot glue gun to glue a clothespin onto each end of the paper towel tube. I'm using a hot glue gun because I have one and it dries really quickly, but you can do this with regular Elmer's glue. Just make sure you give it some time to dry afterward. So the math machine is now ready to use. You turn the rings to make a problem. So I made the problem eight subtract five is equal to, and the answer to this one is three. I didn't need the purple ring, so I just kind of pulled it down to the side, but you can certainly just pull it back up over the end of the paper towel tube if you need it. Let me show you how. So what I did was I changed the operation symbol from subtraction to addition. So now the problem reads eight plus five is equal to, and I needed a one and a three. So I just brought that purple ring back up to make the number 13. I hope that you had fun learning how to build a math machine. You can use it to practice adding, subtracting, and even comparing number values. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.